Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about similarity, similar triangles, and basic proportionality theorem. In this video, we will learn the angle 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 or AAA criteria for similarity of triangles. When do we say that the given two triangles, ABC and PQR, are similar? In the previous video, we saw that two triangles are said to be similar when their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional. Now a question that arises is that For testing the similarity of triangles, should we always have to check if the pairs of corresponding angles are the same and the ratio of the corresponding sides are also the same? Let's take the help of some equiangular triangles can you tell which of these triangles would be equiangular triangles? Absolutely correct. The triangles whose corresponding angles are equal are called equiangular triangles. Let the value of the corresponding angles of all triangles be 80, 60 and 40 degrees respectively. If we notice triangles ABC and PQR, we see that their corresponding sides AB and PQ or BC and QR and CA and RP are all in the ratio of 1 by 2. Now, if we observe the triangle ABC and XYZ, then we see that their corresponding sides are proportional. Can you tell the ratio of the corresponding side of triangles MNO and PQR? If we look at these two triangles MNO and PQR, then we see that the ratio of the corresponding sides is 3 by 2. In this way, if we take any two similar triangles, then we see that their corresponding sides are proportional. This activity teaches us about similarity of two triangles. This activity leads us to the conclusion that if in any two triangles, if the corresponding angles are equal, then their corresponding sides are in the same proportion or ratio and hence the two triangles are similar. This criteria of similarity of triangles is called the AAA criteria. Here, we can say that equiangular triangles are similar. In this video, we studied about the AAA criteria for similarity of triangles. In the next video, we will look at some interesting examples based on this theorem.